Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing a flip through of one of my Hobonichi Weeks planners and this one I use for like scripture writing and Bible study. I also use it to write down notes from sermons and also I have a prayer list going in it. So we're going to flip through that today. Um, my filming setup looks a little bit different because I am back to my old um, antique desk. So I put down this mat to kind of brighten up the space a little bit. Um, so hopefully the colors are not too off today. So to get started, this is where I keep my planner and this is just a Moterm cover. I did try it without the cover, um, but when I took it to church, I ended up losing my pen that I had intended on using. So I just put it in a cover because it has the pen loop and I thought it was a little bit easier. So here is the inside. It's really minimal. Um, I just have one little prayer card right here. And this is the cover. So this is a yearly planner that goes from January to December. Um, and a very sweet friend sent it to me. So it's really special to me. Um, and also this cover reminds me of the Bible verse that says, um, I am the vine, you are the branches. So it's really special to me. So now we are going to do a flip and whoops, here we go. Okay. So the first thing I have in here, this is just a printable and this is from planning with Kay and I just printed it off. You can't really tell because of the color of the paper, but I did print this on white paper and then I just used double sided tape and put it right in here and then added the piece of washi on the top just for a little bit of decoration, but it's really not needed. Then I have some more washi and then a vinyl sticker. Here is the yearly overview for 2022, 23, and 24. Okay, next thing that we have is an index. So I basically took the vertical yearly layout, which is right here, and I just put, was this sticker paper? I think this was just, yes, okay, so this is just plain sticker paper, and I just put it right on top because I think it was actually last month in March. Um, I realized that I was really adding a lot to this planner, and I was adding things that I wanted to reference back to. There were some really good um, videos and um, teachings that I was writing down notes, and also notes from different books of the Bible that I was reading. So I went ahead and added this in here. So I just write down the month and then just a little bit of um, information about what content is within that month in this planner. Okay, here we have the start of the monthly pages and I will show you the current month, which is April. So I just have a little bit of washi and then I put a monthly scripture plan um, I do have, I believe, one or two uh, scripture plans up on my website, but uh, I used one of those, or there's so many really good scripture plans available online, so I just write everything in for the month because I'm really trying to have my quiet time without any technology, um, specifically my phone. I do use my iPad for two, I use like the books app, uh, for a commentary and then I use another app also for notes so I really just want to have my iPad because I think you guys know if you have your phone even if my notifications are off if I pick it up like to look up something it's very easy to be tempted to look at something else and then all of a sudden you are missing out on time that you could be reading and that Quiet time is important and I try to make it really um, sacred so I'm really trying to make sure that I just um, kind of get rid of the distractions and primarily my cell phone when I have quiet time so that is the monthly pages and then I will jump in to January and I will show you um, some information about a model prayer that I have in here so I wrote this in here and this is from uh, Matthew six nine and this is when jesus is telling um basically telling us how to pray so um here is the bible verse and so i wrote it down and then wrote notes so basically 
it's going to be appraise, uh, purpose, petition, pardon, and protection. So I have that in here and I try to always start out whether I'm about to watch a sermon, which I feel like I forget about praying before a sermon the most, or um, definitely if I'm going to read my Bible or write any type of scripture. I try to have this in here just as a reminder because I get really tuned in and I get really excited about what I'm about to read and sometimes I forget to pray beforehand and I think that that is really important. So I have this in here. So then we're going to just do a flip. Um, so I started this planner back the end of January um, and I first started using it as taking notes on what I was reading. So in January I was reading the book of Acts. So on this side I wrote down the chapter and just a really quick summary and then on this side of the page I wrote down notes. A lot of these notes came from the commentaries that I use um, which I find extremely helpful. Sometimes I feel like reading a commentary is cheating and it's something I think I've really struggled with like on and off. Um, I really think it's just the enemy trying to distract me from reading my Bible because um, you know God tells us we should be studying and I'm not a theologian and um, I didn't go to Bible college and so I need help reading the Bible. A lot of this stuff um, once I read the commentary, you know, other things will kind of make sense. So I just want to encourage you, if you read something and you're really not sure about it, there's really no shame in looking up a commentary or, um, you know, if there's a word that I come across that I'm unfamiliar with, just look it up, you know, and I think that it would definitely help you and get past thinking like I did that it's kind of cheating or I'm not reading the Bible like the right way because I don't think that there's really a wrong way to read the Bible, unless of course you are um, looking for things that maybe um, are self-serving. Does that make sense? So, okay, moving on. All right, so here is February. And uh, let's see, I think this was still Acts. And then I just wrote down a Bible verse for that week. Um, and the stickers I'm just using, um, these are all like leftover stickers from my Hobonichi cousin, um, just like the deco stickers that I use. So here's February. And more about Acts and then also um, a Bible verse from Isaiah. Um, something else I really like about the portability of this planner is a lot of times in the morning because I have a baby who wakes up in the middle of the night to eat, um, it's hard for me to get my quiet time done it, as soon as I wake up, which is, that's my preferred time. So I found that I've been taking this with me. I just throw it in my purse. And then sometimes I will do this um, in my car before I go into work. Sometimes I will do it um, like during my lunch break at work, but that's really hard because it's very distracting um, to kind of like look at... The, look at the clock, eat lunch, and study the Bible. But I do, like I said, I really like the size. So this planner has really been working out perfectly this year for this. Here is another page in February, and I was still making my way through Acts. And here is the beginning of March. Um, and the pen that I'm using is just a Jetstream it is, let's see, the Uni 0.5, uh, just ballpoint pen, Jetstream. Um, this is just part of a three pack off of Amazon, which I believe I do have that linked um, in the description box below. I just think ballpoint pens work the best on Hobonichi paper with gel pens. I know that there's a lot out there that are quick drying, but with a ballpoint, you don't have to worry about drying time and you can also really easily highlight on top of these without worrying about smudges or smearing. So. That's most of the pen that you're going to see. Okay, so here we are continuing in March. Just more notes. Okay, and then this was a little bit of Joshua. So I don't have it up here, but I have a small, like, individual book of Joshua that I am going through. So I just wrote a little bit of notes. The, most, the rest of my notes are actually in this small little book that I have. And here is March. So this was um, a message from Wendy. I think her last name is Bender on YouTube. Um, and it was called Shifting from Voluntary to Involuntary. If you guys are interested in 
um, scripture and Bible based um, kind of women's studies and women's uh, sermons, I would definitely check out her channel. Um, I'll definitely link it for you. She does a great job of taking familiar stories that you've heard before and kind of shifting them um, and having you think about them in a different way. So I've really been learning a lot from her. So these are some notes that I took. And then I listened to or and watched another one. It was called Handling Conflict. This was really good for conflict really in any part of your life. Um, and then this week, this was a, another um, video that she did that I need to go back and finish, which is why I have my brown pen in here. Um, and anytime, so these weeks right here that I have just taken notes from a sermon, I will take my um, scripture and I will usually write it right in my cousin. Um, so I still am getting that like on a daily basis. Um, and then this was another one which I wanted to finish, which is she did a video about the rise of Lazarus. And that one was really, really interesting as well. Um, Okay, so we are gonna skip to the back and here are a little tag for it. Um, these are, this is the section, these are the note pages in the back and these are where I put down sermon notes. So I just have like a little, little header and then I have notes from um, different sermons from our church. Um, and that's pretty much it. I don't really have anything else in the back, um, but so that's the entire flip. I hope that you guys found it useful. Um, let us know in the comments if you have one planner or one notebook that you just use for Bible study. I think there's so many different ways that you can study the Bible and study scripture. And I just want to encourage you to find the method that works for you. If it works for a week and then it stops working, then you can always switch it up and try something else. So I hope that you guys found this video um, enjoyable. If you like planner and faith related videos, please subscribe and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye.